All righty, we are three minutes past the hour, so we may as well get started. And if anyone joins late, they'll just join late. Um, I've posted the uh, meeting minutes into chat. Hopefully, um, they're visible to everyone. Um, and yes, if you could please write down, if you add your name to the attendees. Welcome everybody to the Qbert community meeting. Um, it is the 27th of September. I'm as shocked as you are. Um, yeah, welcome. I uh, hope everyone's having a good, uh, whatever part of the day they're experiencing at this particular time. Um, normally, we would like to start this meeting by having new members or people who haven't introduced themselves uh, take the opportunity to introduce themselves to the group. So if, um, if you are new and you'd like to do that, then the floor is yours. I'll take that as a no. All right, moving along, we'll check in on the schedule. Um, all right, so I don't think there's much happening this week or next week, but uh, this is really important to remember in, what is it, two weeks minus one day, if my maths is correct, um, we have the 1.1 feature freeze. So that is a, um, an important milestone for us all to remember. Um, and yeah, we're, we're hard trundling onto GA from there. Next up is the uh, events. Um, a couple of really interesting um, conferences have CFPs open at the moment. Um, we've got uh, Scale 21X, which is in Los Angeles. It will be in, oh, it says right there. It's in uh, the middle of March. Um, we have until November the 1st, so we've got a little over a month. Um, and it has a whole bunch of co-located events, including a KCD which stands for Kubernetes Community Days, and a DevOps Day. Um, so I would highly recommend if anyone is anywhere near the area or can get travel funding for that. I've never been, but I've heard it's a, it's a really great um, thing to attend. We've also got a KCD Oslo for anyone in or near Norway. And another huge one is KubeCon, CloudNativeCon, EU24. Um, CFPs are open. Um, it's also going to be in March. Wow, those uh, scale and cube kind of really close together. Um, we had a, a really strong uh, presence in this year's uh, KubeCon EU. It was really great. Uh, be wonderful to have just as many sessions um, available. The um, uh, a strong Qubit presence at that. Um, if you do need, if you have an idea, or you'd like any assistance, uh, please reach out, um, and either I can help or I can put you in touch with someone who can help put together a proposal and that includes maybe if you if you would like to co-present with someone or anything like that, I can, um, I can do what I can um, and it would be my pleasure. And yeah, we've got a couple of things coming up. Uh, Keep going China, I think Howard is presenting that today, although I think I see him in this call. So it, I guess uh, hopefully it's over. Um, and then we've got KubeCon North America coming up and SFSCon that um, Daniel will be presenting at. So if you are in or near uh, any of those, um, and you can go, uh, please go along. If you are going to be at KubeCon North America uh, in Chicago in November, please let me know. We have a project meeting uh, that we're running on the, I want to say Monday, November the 6th from 10.30 to 12.30. Um, we do not yet have an agenda. And so if you've got things that you would like to talk about, then if you let me know, we can put them on the agenda. Uh, and we'll also have a Qubit booth in the project pavilion. So that's enough out of me. We've got things on the uh, open floor. Um, yes, someone has added these, by all means, uh, take it away. Uh, hi, Andrew. Uh, I'm still writing down some notes. Would you mind to go through the PR first? Then I will no, talk about the presentation. Thanks. No worries. All righty. Uh, so we'll jump ahead a little bit to the pull requests. Um, and there's a couple here that I didn't add. This one is uh, really new. Um, Normally I don't put uh, things this new up, but it was the only one that I could see that hadn't had any attention uh, because people have been really great about reviewing these PRs. 
Um, so this is VMI migration metrics. Um, Shirley has been CC'd on it. That's probably the best person, unless we have Joao on the line. And he's not Hi. here. Uh, you can uh, assign me to that. Oh, perfect. That Was that you, Igor? Yeah. Perfect. Um, E-N, there you are. Thank you. All right, I think that's done. Now we've got a couple that I didn't put here. So um, would the people that put these on? Yeah, I put I them on the list though. So. Felix. Ah, excellent. Would you like to take it away? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so this is, this is a PR introducing uh, controller revision upgrades for the controller revisions of instance types. And it's it's quite a huge PR and um, we wanted to get it in before the feature freeze. So it would be really great if you could get some reviews in it and um, lays out this week. So I'm taking over his stuff. So um, yeah, would be great to get some reviews. All righty. Looks like it's had a nice back and forth on it already. Um, oh, wow. it's a lot of changes. And it's a um, all ticks across the checklist as well. Uh, yeah, is there anyone on the call that would like to um, or is able to uh, review this before the, was that the end of the week or maybe by before next week, end of next week? I suppose there will be a lot of volunteers, so. <laughs> We're just uh, waiting for them to find the unmute button. Um, anyone in the, well, I'm guessing compute, SIG compute would be the best. Um, let, let me try to, to get to it. You know, you can assign me uh, uh, on that as well. I okay. hopefully will find some time to, uh, to look at that. All right. Thank you. I believe in you. Um, and then, yeah, if you can, you, you probably know someone that you can ping and say, hey, look, help me out. Um, Felix, is this, the, is this the same story, the second PR? Yeah, same story. Want to get this in before feature freeze. And would be nice to get some reviews. All righty. I'll CC Igor on the first one, but uh, is anyone else able to jump in onto the second one so that we're not just uh, dumping everything onto Igor? Anyone at all? It's less changes than the other one. And it's already had quite a bit of reviewing, so I'm sure it'll be uh, super short. It will become a bit smaller when um, the PR it's based on is merged and some commits will disappear from this PR, at least. Uh, Felix says, sweeten the pot. Uh, can I CC anyone else on this particular PR? Andrew, can you please remind when is the feature freeze? I mean, how much time do we have? Oh yeah, it's the 10th of August, uh, August, October. 10th uh, of October. Which is in two weeks minus one day. Uh, okay, thank you, well. Should be, yeah, should be enough time. Well, depending on the, depending of course on the PR uh, readiness, I guess. Yep. Let me got all next week. <laughs> <laughs>
still, still no one is able to take this. If I, I don't know, if I will uh, manage to finish the, the, the first PR, I will, I will take a look at that, but uh, no, I don't want to. All right, you can... Um... I, we will, I, I will, can, yeah, I can maybe delegate. It, of course, under, delegate, perfect. Thank you very much. Sure, no problem. All righty. So we'll keep moving along and give Howard a bit more time. Um, the only thing I could see in the mailing list this week was a new design proposal. Uh, so this is from uh, Liche. This is a, a reboot of the storage class migration PR. Um, so if this is of interest to you, which I think a few people will be interested by this. Um, yeah, there's a new design proposal to have a look at. Hooray. Oh, and it's got a picture. Very good. Uh, bug scrap. We've got two bugs. Okay, looks good. So. Is Alexander on the line? I oh, am. Yeah. It surely this is a storage bug. Finally, there are no storage bugs. What are you talking about? <laughs> it works perfectly. It's the user's fault. It, it is probably the user's fault, but I'll take a look at it. All right. Thank you very much. All right. CC at A Wells. All right. And so ends my terrible streak of trying to put non-storage bugs in your plate. And the second one. Um, oh. Yeah, that, that one I, uh, I took because it should be a small one. It's uh, on my area of CPU hot plug, So Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. All righty. Uh, and that brings us to the bottom of the three scrubs. Uh, Howard, are you ready for your open floor? Yes. Wonderful. And Yeah, OK. So uh, we do two presentations in Kubi Kang Shanghai today. And we get very good feedback from audience. Uh, I have shared some photos to you, Andrew, while Slack. Uh, do you mind to share the photo with, with uh, us? And uh, in the presentation, we get over 100 audience to attend the presentation. Uh, and uh, we have, uh, they asked many questions after my presentation, and I have summarized them uh, in <clears throat> here. Um, uh, the first one is uh, the, they, some, some audience want to migrate their workload from their current platform, uh, like WMWell or, or OpenStack platform to Kubevert. Uh, they are not sure if there are any projects that can help them to do the migration. Okay, uh, let me introduce the photo first. Uh, I create a WeChat channel for Kubevert. Uh, WeChat is a, a software a application in, uh, in telephone that uh, we use uh, very common in China. And uh, usually we communicate communicate with uh, our audience or uh, or colleagues via this software. Uh, so uh, today we have uh, thirty two uh, subscribers uh, in this channel. Uh, I'm not sure if the community wants to maintain a, a WeChat channel for Kubeworks. Maybe I will write a proposal or something for that. Uh, 
Yeah. I I mean I'm I'm all for it. Um unfortunately for language reasons, I'm unable to be much involved in it. Um yeah. and so it would be something it would need to be uh, entirely community driven. Okay. Um but yeah, I, I will do everything in my power to support it, absolutely. Okay, no problem. Mm, and uh, uh, would you mind to open another for photos? Yeah. Uh, this is, is um this is uh, uh how how I do the presentation. You can see many people attend this presentation, and this. I know some audience already try to use Qbvert in their uh, production line. Uh, some some company in China, there and they are very and many people very interested in the uh, in the Qbvert. Yeah, they think use Q Kubernetes to manage a virtual machine is a very good idea and may help them to resolve their problems. That's awesome. Um, I might uh, follow you up with you offline um, to talk about some of that and who we can uh, follow up with. Okay, cool. Okay, yes. how, so, how I, are I, I, I put a link in the chat to Forklift which yes. is uh, used for migrating uh, virtual machines from uh, VMware or OpenStack or whatever to uh, Kubert. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and and I will do, you know, like install drivers and things like that. So. Okay. So this project is not man maintained by Kubert, right? No, it's, it's part of, I think it's called Conveyor. Which is essentially an application migration toolkit. Uh, I think Red Hat maintains most of that. So. Okay. Okay. I see. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, this is uh, the first pre presentation we do uh, to introduce the QB version 1. 1, version 1. Yes. Uh, and this presentation is. Uh, prepared by me and Andrew, yeah. And the uh, the audience really like the uh the story of how Qbvert start from zero to current status. Oh, that's great to hear. Um, yeah, for um the benefit of everyone else, we because we um Qbert really hasn't had much of a, a presence. We have done a, a singular Qbert talk in uh, KubeCon China. We thought mm -hmm. it would be a good idea to run as an as a fairly lengthy introduction to talking about version one, um, cover the full history of Qbert um, and some milestones. And, and we did a um, like an architectural uh, light dive, um, which was uh, largely borrowed from some of the work that um, some of the great presentations that David Russell has done. Yes. Yes. Uh, Andrew, would you mind to go back to the come uh, the weekly meeting note? Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, the audience questions. Uh, the second one is uh, they want to know the Qbert future deve development plan or roadmap. Do we have some page to uh, to record the roadmap? Uh, we do not currently. It's something that's been talked about. Um, yeah. And yeah, no, unfortunately, we haven't necessarily had bandwidth to uh, commit to a process for it. Mm -hmm. um, but the what one of the one of the main things we've been talking about was how can we use how can we keep it as, as simple and useful as possible? Which is yes. probably using, I think, the milestone functions of GitHub so that people, if I recall correctly, because um, mm -hmm. we're not entirely sure when a feature will land, we can use a generic milestone. And then once we know that it is going to go into a particular release, 
um, yeah. we can um, tag it as such and have that all updated on some kind of a roadmap page. Okay, I see. And uh, the third one is net network performance. Yes, do we have some benchmark of the network performance of QVert? Because they think the virtual machine is running inside a pod. We are using pod uh, network. So uh, how, how the performance of the network? Many audience asked about this question. There are a lot of various uh, CNET plugins. Uh, all of them have different uh, approach of work. Yes. And I wouldn't say that uh, using default uh, pod networking can somehow affect performance if you use yes. bridge method for binding, uh, but it affects latency. Uh, and there's few methods how you can avoid uh, such uh, latency. Uh, you can use various CNI plugins like MacVetup CNI solving that. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, as about benchmarks, I have no exact benchmarks. I have just few bench benches about uh, these binding methods. Uh, okay. I can share my presentation if you're interested in that. They're just, just latency. Yes, thanks a lot. Uh, so would you mind to share me the presentation's link? Sure, I will put it uh, right here. Okay, thanks. I also want to point out you can use uh, you know, non-pod network networks with the multis plugin. You know, you yeah. Different CNIs. So. Yes, yes, of course. I, I, I tell the audience uh, I tell them we can use monitors like we can use SRIOV to uh, to be the second uh, network for the virtual machine, which would have a good performance. But they are still curious about the default network performance. Yeah, can, can really help you with that. I'm more storage guys. Okay. Uh, and the last uh, question uh, is, uh, yeah. Uh, I was going to say that uh, I just sent uh, a blog post about mm -hmm. OpenShift virtualization, uh, latency, uh, mm -hmm. for, for, for uh, latency sensitive workloads. The, they talk about uh, using SIOP to, to have uh, like minimal latency maybe you will find it useful. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, the last one question is about real user case. Uh, we introduced some general user case like uh, we can replace the traditional uh, virtual mach machine. Um, and uh, we can use uh, GPU in a prov GPU provision. We can do GPU provision. And we also can use QBvert in some Kubernetes-based CI-CD pipeline uh, like Argo CD. But they want to know, are there any real uh, user case or user case in practice? So Red Hat has some public uh, references for OpenShift virtualization, which is, is QVert, uh, mm -hmm. you know, some of which are pretty large customers with thousands of VMs uh, and mm -hmm. mostly lift and shift type, type uh, deals. Um, also, I believe we have some presentations in QVert Summit, not this year, but the year before, where mm -hmm. um, people are using KubeVert for uh, remote desktops and things like that. So there's there's there should be plenty of examples out there. Okay. And um, Cole, there's a 
there's a data science example right along the lines of what uh, Alexander was saying. Um, we, we run data science workloads inside Kubevert and we in, involve GPUs. Involve GPUs, yeah, okay. So there and, is uh, a presentation about yeah, this. NVIDIA, Cybo, and CoreWave as well are also doing uh, provisioning with GPU and also just as um, like uh, guest provisioning for their customers. Okay. Isn't Cube by example also using it uh, in their infrastructure? I'm not sure about Cube by example. Um, Kilocoda does. Oh, Killer Coda, um, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, Killer Coda yeah. is probably also a good example of, of using Kubert. Yeah. Does and, anybody uh, use Kubert uh, for spawning uh, nested clusters of Kubernetes with cluster API? Uh, Red Hat is, is working on something they call Hypershift with a Kubert provider where we use the cluster API. Yeah. And the, the cluster API with the Kubert provider. There's the, the CAPK is, is the uh, open source, source version of that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's all about the presentation. Thanks. Um, yeah, a few things have been thrown into chat, various links. Um, and yeah, uh, at Kubecon Amsterdam, um, Fabian and Ryan presented on the NVIDIA use case example specifically um, for GeForce Now, which I can dig up, but I'll, I'll send it to you on Slack rather than um, the longest meeting looking for it. Oh, excellent. And someone is very kindly adding them to the agenda. All righty. Uh, perhaps, did you want to speak? To yeah, your... I just wanted to okay. announce that I was developing a CNI plugin, designing actually for uh, Kubeweird, uh, which would use Camo storage daemon and uh, VDUs. And I found really nice Chinese article from the developers of uh, VD use technology by Dance. I translated it. It is very interesting. And I think very useful. Just wanted to share it with community. Nice. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Awesome. I do believe that brings us to the end of today's meeting. Yeah, I think we've covered everything. Um, but we'll we'll take a couple of seconds here while the soil is going outside. Um, if anyone does have anything that I've missed or they would like to add at the last minute, a question or a comment, or maybe if you want to jump in at anything. Um, you have a few seconds here before we close out today. Alrighty. Well, in that case, without any further ado, thank you very much, everyone, for participating in uh, today's Kubert community meeting. Uh, thank you very much, Howard, for uh, bringing all of that um, uh, feedback from Shanghai. That's really great. And for the artwork, VAPS, and to Igor for jumping on basically all the things that were outstanding. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day, week, weekend, and we'll catch you same place, same time next week. Thanks, everyone. Thanks so much. Thanks Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.